Hey, hey everybody, Dina here, coming to you live Tuesday almost afternoon. I hope you guys are all having a great day. Just want to jump on, give you guys some tips. If this is your first time watching, say hello, write new in the comments. If this is the replay, hashtag replay. Hope you guys, again, find some value in this. If you do, please feel free to share it with someone who is trying to eat healthier. So. A few tips guys now these tips are really to do with meal prep so I was having a chat with uh, one of my good friends and she's a mom she's has she has three young kids two of them are in daycare but one of them is home with her he's a little bit younger than my uh, my guy Robbie so but she was talking about how it is so hard to plan these hey Charlie to plan meals and um we kind of went back and forth a little bit just chatting about what works for us and I thought hey I'm gonna share this with some of you um, and hopefully you know gets you gives you some ideas gets you thinking about how uncomplicated meal prep can be now I'm not talking about spending you know three hours on a Sunday which I do have some friends that have told me about this these are friends that are probably kidless most of the time they're kidless but there are friends that I know that do this that they, they, they take these three hours on Sunday and they cook their chicken they cook their um, you know any of their rice dishes they get their vegetables again that is not realistic for me and I know that's not realistic for a lot of us so here are just a few ideas that I want you to try out make it your own so one of the things so right now Robbie is having lunch now instead of me just kind of I guess scrolling on Facebook or doing whatever I've decided to meal prep some things and I, I don't do it all the time because I don't need to meal prep every day but think of it this way you can't do it in a block of three hours but maybe you can do some meal prep in blocks of 30 minutes you all have an extra 30 minutes of time that you don't have to be scrolling on Facebook or doing whatever but again try that try whatever you're making a meal uh, uh, prep a little extra now I try to do this every night whenever I'm making my side dish whether it be uh, couscous canoa you know some whole wheat pasta I make a little extra now not everything freezes good I'm talking about things more that you can stick in your fridge have in your fridge for you know the next day's lunch the next day's dinner. Of course, if you're someone like me that's, you know, kind of on the go all the time, I don't really have a lot of sit down meals during the day. I try, but I'll, often the time I'm grabbing something to go. But with making a little extra every meal, you'll have stuff in the fridge, guys. You'll have stuff in the fridge that you can grab. Again, this is not meant to take over your day, but just take that extra, as I said, 20 minutes after every meal or during your prep of whether it's lunch. Like as I said, right now I gave Robbie some lunch, I made him some, some, some soup, heated up some soup, but hey David, thanks for the thumbs up. But what I did was I made um, this really delicious little salad with some couscous, whole wheat couscous, cut up some vegetables, and that's gonna be my go-to lunch for the next couple days. Maybe even my dinner, I'll add it to my salad. So that's one kind of tip you can do, which will help you eat better and eat healthier. Because if you have things on hand, hi Ruth, if you have things on hand, I'm telling you, you're not gonna grab the garbage <laughs> stuff that you have in the freezer not saying you have garbage but you are will you will more likely grab that than opposed to feeling frustrated feeling you don't have options Robbie's freaking out I gotta make this quick so try that just try making those extra portions during your already meal prep like if you're already making dinner you're already making lunch just go that extra 15 minutes and prep for the next couple days i'm telling you when you have it in your fridge and you have it ready it relieves that anxiety of like i gotta eat something what am i gonna eat just and even with the fruit i know we were talking about going to costco you guys ever go to costco who loves costco well the thing with costco sometimes is everything is in bulk and if you don't prep it chances are it's gonna sit in your fridge and it's gonna go bad Another idea you can do with those fruits, um, especially 
the, the, my recommendation with the fruit is freeze some. You know, if you buy those fresh berries or you buy the fresh um, fruit, probably pineapple and the berries works. I'm not so much with the grapes. I don't know if you can really freeze grape to throw in smoothies, but try to, when you get back from Costco and you get back from your um, grocery run, start separating it out, having it ready. I know my sister's really good at, you know, getting her fruits ready and getting them in the fridge in containers. Um, so try that. So try those tips, guys. Meal prep is, is, it doesn't have to be a really big, long, complicated thing. It can just be something that you do already in your food preparation. It's just about keeping that in mind. I'm gonna put a little bit on the side. I'm gonna prep a little bit. And I've told you guys this before, plan your grocery shopping, plan what you're gonna buy and, and visualize, okay, I'm gonna get this, what am I gonna make with this? So if you have a vision and if you have a plan, chances are you will be able to eat healthier and you will be able to make those better decisions. So that's it guys, just wanted to jump on quickly, give you kind of just some tips that will help you if you want more tips, if you want more ideas, if you want even some recipes, let me know. I'd love to share those with you. I hope you all have a beautiful day. The sun is shining here in Montreal, so that is really um, very uplifting. Everyone's a lot happier when it's nice and the winter's finally over. And that's it. Hope you guys all have a great day and I will see you soon. Bye-bye.